They replayed their swords too, so they swing as hard as they want. They don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> There's rebladed. That's nice. My five foot only lasted two weeks. Yeah, I don't have a five foot. I mean, that one only that one I brought out here. That's cool. Tap swords. You got min reds. Please tell me there's gonna be some good commentary on there. There's gonna be heterosexual commentary. Look at that juicy boot. She's like a centaur with the back half cut off. See, Kevin, your, your shot like that was going to be dog shit because you had your left foot forward and you were sh throwing a right-handed shot. And she's lefty, so she was just going to block that all day. There you go. Switch those feet up. Is that outside chop. Good block. Good hand block. See, if you're ever in a spot where you don't know what to do or you feel like it's bad, just back up. Just reset the fight. Holly, you should have put your right foot forward on that. Okay. Yeah, all right, cool. Get her. Now think about what she's going to do. She has it in her muscle memory to throw that Moline. But she's going to try and throw a stab. So Kevin's left foot forward with left hand back, which means, okay, that was good. There you go. He switched up the range on you. As he went for the stab, I thought he was actually cocking a spin up. But that was a fallback move, so that's good. Yep. I'm sorry. You're fighting, no laughing. Only laugh when you hit him in the nuts. And then say sorry. Even though you don't mean it. But it just counts. All you have to do is say sorry. It's kind of like Christianity, you know, like after uh, you murder a bunch of people, touch some, fiddle some kids, before you die, you just say sorry. And I was forgiven. There you go. Stick that sword in her face. Remember, elongate. Elongate. His arms are too big. He can't do it. He goes to extend his arms and his biceps punching him in the face. So, Bacon, this is where you... Oh, there you go. Nothing. No, no, no. No, you did. I was no, no. I was gonna say this is where you outrange him, but you got him to choke up. So the reason why she did that again is you went to be like, oh, I'm gonna block and rotate the block when you can't move your legs. Okay. So you either gotta pivot on your knee, which sucks in the grass, especially when you have shorts on, or you gotta elongate and go this way. Okay. When you pull in like that, your biceps are too goddamn big. You're gonna be elbowing the guy next to you. Okay. And that's why you're getting hit in that elbow, especially if she's moving around you. So, it's alright, get it hit in the face is, is good, it builds character. Gets rid of the cells you don't need. There you go, did I see that was good, you did some footwork to lock her up, and then you put the foot forward that you casted with. See, that was, that was very, very well executed. Same thing. Good. Did that in and out. Did the lean. Now think. Oh, you suck. You let that happen. That was the laziest shot ever. No, you're dead. Reset. That sucked. Yeah, you did. Yep. Outside lane on you. He's still alive. 
So Holly, you know what you could do? That'd be really gross. You're doing like those like, like folding flick overs to try to get them. If you did that, and the, yeah. So you keep you kept doing that to flick. If you did that, and then you just twirl the other way, you can get a leg on it. That'd be nasty. So ready? Flick, flick. Okay. Yeah. Stop there. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. And the thing is too, you're extended too when you do that. And if you fuck up, you just lean back and you're fine. Okay. Yeah. Why? Or, I'm, I can't yeah. Like yeah. Like retail. Yeah. And then first. So stupid. Or a block shot. Um, and then you get into like, like the middle of the way. So flip. Yep. There you go. Like cut it though. You're, you're so doing it with arm extended out. Well. Okay. So you're, you're going hard. But you're going. We'll want to take it with your arms extended out, which means if they close on you, you're screwed. You can go yeah. Yeah. Pull your elbow in when you do that. Okay. Yeah. So like, so, there you go, and that gives you that torque too, and it makes it so that you don't have to angle your sword around your body. You're just angling it, you're just peeling it around your shoulder rather than coming around like this. Okay? Yep. Plus telegraphed. Yep. Keeping your elbows in when you do stuff like that gets you all those movements and gets you deep. Think about it. The more outside you are, the more coordinated it is. Okay? And that's why, too, like a lot of times when I'll do my initial stances if I'm armed and I'm out here like this, it telegraphs that I'm out here. So that if I cut in, I'm just bringing my elbow, okay? And like that shot there, I'm not even really throwing my arms in the way. I'm just leaning in. Okay, I'm like tucking my head down and putting my shoulder in and just doing that. If you, yeah, but that's where you got a gate. So the thing is with I mean, Conrad, but you also got to all in it too. You have to, that's gaining initiative because if I know that, okay, she's gonna, he's gonna Molina me, even if he's winding it up, I'm gonna get hit by it no matter what. But if I'm just tucking in and I'm getting that hit first, even if you Molina pulled over and cut me in half, it doesn't matter. I got here. So you have to know when to gauge of when to kind of get in and get that quick hit. So yeah, if I do it from here while you're mid swing, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna cut, you're gonna, I'm dead. But stuff like that matters, especially if you're both um, single sorting it. And let's say like you with a stab or something like that step in and do that, it's, it gives you less reaction time than be like, oh, I fucked up, oh, she's going to swing, oh, I'm going to try and re-swing over. She just dives in and taps you. Chip. <laughs> it's all about timing. And he's going to do the wind up, wind up, okay, there you go. Made something out of it. Took three windups. So the thing that you have to coordinate, Holly, huh? he does that windup every single okay. time. Okay, and seventy-five percent of the time, it's nothing. Okay. Now, Kevin, at the same time, if you know that she's checking that you're gonna wind up, you can just you can hard fake it, and then react rather than wind up, do something, and hope it lands like that. Is that wind up? Delayed and then did something? Wind up. That one was a wind up to guard, so that was a reaction. Risk, yep. A poopy cast setup, it's okay. Now that would have been a good time to check her on her juicy booty when she gets that close to you. All right, now think of his options. He's not left-handed, so that's his cast hand. So if he's got that left hand back with that left foot, that means he's either gonna lunge forward and stab or he's gonna choreograph a spin, okay? So, Bacon, what you wanna do is, there you go. You wanna force him into that spin. It's the same way that I try to force you to Moline when you're armed. I hit it at an angle so that your sword goes out and you go, oh shit. I'm gonna use the momentum. Exactly, so if he looks like he's gonna try and lunge a stab, make him throw the spin by hitting it, because when it goes this way, he's gonna be like, oh shit, ah! Okay. I had nothing left to do but spin there. 
You could also lower your gravity and restat. Let me show you what I mean. So it's the same same premise as doing that tuck down. So if I'm going for that stab, right? And you hit it out of the way and you come in and it looks like I'm gonna spin, okay? And you're closing in on me. This foot comes back, okay? And I'm just centering my gravity at that point, okay? I'm just bringing that shoulder and that head bob down. It's the same exact thing. Especially if we're both armed, okay? So let's say we're armed and then I go for the stab, you hit it out of the way. And then like you come in like you're gonna hit me. It's the same thing, okay? Closing the distance. You can even too. Pretty much. It's just like, oh shit, I'm at a bad angle. Just put yourself at a good angle. Okay? The other thing you can do too is because if we're both armed, no one's going to start a fight like this. Okay? They're going to be like this the whole time. So if they're stepping in on you, okay, so if you're stepping in on me, choke down. It's good to because like, we're, we're armed, we're going to do those full range shots. Okay. If you're stepping in on me, as I'm backing up to get that maximum shot, and I choke up and step in here, okay? And I, and I can... You let that happen. Wind up. Here comes the wind up again. He's gonna throw another shot. Ready? Nope. Here comes the wind up. He's gonna wind up. See? There it is. Throws a shot. He's not gonna throw another shot unless he winds up again. He will only throw a shot when he winds up. So, if he has that muscle memory built in that he's always gonna wind up before he throws a shot, that means if you go in and throw a shot, He's not going to throw a shot at you unless he winds up. And that's why a lot of times when you're backpedaling, when she's chasing you, your sword's stuck here because you're used to winding up before you do anything, even when you block. And that's why, too, when they close on you and your sword's here, okay, put your sword here. And you can't do shit when I'm here, okay, because your sword, you're pinning it to yourself, okay? And when you're doing that, too, that's how you're getting hit in the elbow constantly because you're going like this and you're chicken with it. So that if I know, okay, I'm going to try and time your wind up, okay? So. Get ready to wind up, okay? We're swords out here, swords out here. Ready? Time to wind up. Okay? I'm gonna throw. The second this is coming here is when I'm gonna throw. It's all pretty Like I said, it's you want. You can use that wind up to your advantage. I'm not saying it's complete dog shit. Because if she's watching for your wind up, that means you can gain control of it. That's a, that's a stance you adapt. But there's a difference between a stance and then just bad habits. You're doing a good job, though, doing the wind-up and then doing the cast with the proper foot forward. You see how you were bringing your sword to yourself? And you're like, oh, shit, oh, shit. I can't wind up because my sword's already here. You get that from using a five foot. Good effort, though. But that's you controlling the fight. Sword was brought in. So she's playing max range on you. You either got to fake the stab or pump it into something else. That was good. Good effort. It was a little crazy. A little buttery. But that... that yeah, but that's a good effort, though. Thing is, though, so... It, if you would have leaned in low when you did that, you would have got a leg with the other foot forward. You would have got a leg, and then you just spin out of there. So, you had what? You had your left foot forward? So, you could have went, so you could have went like this, and then gone like that. Okay? Yeah, it's like a hang water shirt at that point. Now, <laughs> if she power chops you, yeah, she's going to power chop through and hit you. But chances are, if she gets hit the leg and she's going down and she's leaning to throw a shot, and you're stepping away and you have at least something up, most times it's going to guard you, okay? Or at least make her hit on you lighter than, you know, it is to be legal.
lined up. Okay. Good effort though. That was better. Yep. All right, experiment. Stick your sword straight in her goddamn face with your arms extended out. No, no, no. No, he, he can lean into that shit. Was it arm or leg? <laughs> it's okay. It's alright, the arm hurts. Sorry, just reset. It's okay. Bronan gets hit in the shield and takes the leg for some reason. It's just like, I will take it. You didn't have your good foot forward. All right, so let's pause right here for a second, okay? Because here's another thing. So, Kevin, is Bacon left-handed or right-handed? Okay. But she's fighting left. So you need to be swinging outside, okay? On her outside lane, okay? Because when you swing out there, if she goes to return, you 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 have her sword arm at, at that point, okay? Yeah, you need to be swinging from out there, okay? Because she's going to try and contest that. Because at that point, if you swing out there, and she tries so swing outside... And she tries to return, either that, or she's going to try and go on your left arm, and she's just swinging into your good block at that point, okay? Now, that would be a good time for you to do a wind-up. If she's, like, being like, oh, I'm staying outside, and then you do your wind-up and tuck back, you can readjust and throw outside then, okay? And you can throw a good wrap out of that. So let me show you an example. I should be throwing outside first before I wind-up because I can react with it. You can react with the wind-up and we go back outside. So you can like go here, she goes to react, and then you can go, okay? But you want to throw a wrap into that, okay? And that's, don't throw here, okay? His yeah. elbow's not here. Pushing your it's hand like this, okay? And this is why I'm saying, you gotta get used pushing to Pushing your left hand out, right? Yep, and you gotta get used to extending, okay? Leaning into it, okay? Look at how my arms are. When I was saying like, yo, point the sword in her face, and you're going like this, I can mean, no, like, like, point it in her goddamn face. Choke down all the way if you have to. Don't monkey grip, because if you monkey grip, you can't get it. But point it in her goddamn face, because that's annoying, and it's you just being threatening, and it makes her want to swing out of the way. And when you're outranging her, when, especially when she's late, and she tries to go in, swings it out of the way, you just get something out of it. That's when you can react to her, because that's what I'm saying, too. Kind of get out of the wind-up thing by pulling it back here. And just coming maybe like this. Look, just tuck the elbow a little bit. Because if I'm trying to get around her sword, okay? So just keep your sword down. I'm not going to do a shot. You don't have to go, okay? You literally, you just, you just got to do this. You just got to go, okay? But if you go to baseball monkey swing that outside lane, she's just going to eat the shit out of you. Well, you can fake it. You can fake the baseball swing. Yep, see, there you go. Now this would be a good time to cast. Or try to make her Moline by slapping her sword out of the way and stepping in. And then just water shedding. Yep. I knew it was coming, but yep. I'm well the thing is, so what happened was you brought your sword back before you were gonna hit her sword out of the way. And when your sword's back and her sword's already pointing here and she just goes like this, yeah. she's outranging you right now when she's got one hand on it. Yeah. So the second you bring back like this and she just goes like that, you're gonna get stabbed. There you go. Don't be afraid to manipulate her blade, too. It's okay. But that there, that was that was the little thing I was saying that hit confirm. You tapped her hands and she did nothing. That was good. That was a good exchange, though. That was lots of block strikes. This is gonna be a dope video. Uh, you style it. She like grazed up to you, and you're like, yeah. "Oh shit, what well, was it?" No whether... Yeah, no, that's okay. That's fine. It was kind of like, should I take? Yeah, that? no, that's a, that's good honor. Keep fighting. I mean, if you don't take it, she's just gonna so hit you just stop on the reaction. Yeah, there. it's okay. Yeah, and you, you'll get out of that too. Like I, I still don't like calling. Like, oh my god! Now it's time to leave.
Do you just hang out here just for the chance to be like, I wonder if they're out there? Listen, oh, hey, they're gloves. out there. I brought my gloves. I brought my gloves, but no swords. What an asshole. <laughs> you always have extra swords. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Come here, come say that. Come say that. Say, I always have extra swords. Be like, you always have extra swords. Say it again. Maybe broken, but I don't care. Anyways. Okay, okay, let's do it. Okay. Hey, hey stop it. Because I bullied this one to drive out here. 